Yeah, yeah, maybe it will be because I'm I'm a little bit um, confused at the time. I think because I have um, kind of pointed out somehow what themes I would like to ah, explore. Yeah. I see. And uh, people, people is among them. Interaction the between oh. uh, people. People, right. Interactions between people and be symbols like rectangles or uh, not not people uh, because I can't draw but, uh, light figures. Yes, right. And and I know you told me that after Brian Rutenberg's presentation, you felt like you had a real sense of direction, like where you want to go. Um, do you want to share that with us, like yeah. what what you were thinking? Yeah, it's a. Uh, it's so actually two directions. One of them is um, the contrast between the fragility and strength. Ooh, that's good. Uh, what really picks me off is uh, if I see a if I see a rock or a rusty items and uh, lace on mm -hmm. top or next to it. Yes. Those contrasts. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and also the the way the way people and animals direct uh, how we also our our um, most of our language is non-verbal right yes so it's it's the, the way two people stand together are they leaning are they uh, going apart yes. all that kind of stuff really fascinates me oh, so it's two fabulous well, see, and the yeah, thing I should have enough for a lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the thing about the <laughs> meeting that you have there right now, uh, Marie. Now that you've said that, because um, I think you just kind of nailed it when you said the the interaction or uh, contrast between fragility and 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 strength. Did you say those two? Yeah. Because when I look at what you have there right now, there is something very, very to me that feels very, very fragile to it. I think it's the fact that uh, you've got a lot of thin, tenuous lines. Um, there's a lot, to me, it feels so emotional. And- and uh, you, can't, you can't sit up here, love, you can't. Yeah. You can't see it? Yeah, I can't see you. Well, can't you see it's spotlit? I mean- Oh, this is me. That's just Lisa. Oh, I'm gonna mute. I, th I think somebody was not meant to be unmuted. I mean, look at the difference between mine versus yours. Mine is like, it's like in your face. It's super bold. Yours, on the other hand, is, oh my gosh, it's got this, these nuances in the, look at the difference. See, I've got black and white. You've got, you've got softened edges. You've got lines that come in and out. You've got these mid-tones and I mean, even in black and white, it it is so um, I don't know extraordinary. I and I think that the what I see in your painting right now, Marie, is that you've set up a fragile background, but those outlined shapes, they're bold and they feel strong um, against this fragile background, which is the predominant thing I see right now. And so even now. Um, yeah, I mean, Steph says she loves your painting, Marie. I would just say, give yourself a chance to really live with it and let it grow on you because maybe this is your way to find that fragility with just a few strong elements in there for contrast. And I don't know, I, I think you're onto something, Marie. Me love too. I, I just want to so say, much. Marie, you know, we we tend to compare ourselves, right? We yeah. see one person's art and we look at ours and we're like, but I want mine to be like theirs, but we are not that person, right? Yeah. So we have to look at ours and ourselves and and let. that's why I'm always saying it in post and people are asking and I'm always saying, and let it talk to you because it is part of you, right? And so you got to let it talk to you about it and because it's about you and it's about the painting and and don't compare because comparison is is a bad thing right mm -hmm. it, it makes us ruin things you know and we don't even realize it's not that we realize we're 
preparing, but, but really, you know, that's what's happening. And Pam's is amazing, but so is yours, Marie. They're just different because you're two different people. Right. And you look at everybody's art on here and everybody's so different. And even though uh, some people were following, I mean, we were, several people, everybody almost was following along with what Pam did. But everybody's is so different, right? That's what I love. So, I love it, that. So much. Yeah, it's awesome, Marie. Let it talk to you. Yeah, yeah. I so agree with you. And thank you so much for the support and everything. Um, I think maybe also the, the fact that uh, I am uh, in, in a small way trying to, to um, have a, bro a project. Yes, a real project which I want to explore because I feel strongly about it. Both of the themes, and yes. that makes me I just a little nervous ah. because it's new territory. Yes, oh yeah, um, new territory. Yeah. Um, the new territory, especially one that has such meaning for you, is scary because mm -hmm. you know you kind of, I think, subconsciously realize that. If you go that route, you are going to be revealing something about yourself uh, that's personal to you. And that is scary. Mm. Um, but that's authenticity as well. And that's vulnerability because you could easily do something that you don't feel as uh, naked, right? Like the, the minute you touch on something that like really touches you, you're, you're, you're allowing people into your lives to see who you really are. And, you know, we as artists have a choice. We don't have to do that. We can actually do something that doesn't really uh, tap into that part. Um, we can actually put on a facade. And I think uh, that's what I was doing. I was putting on an amazing facade. Like, look at these beautiful flowers, you know? Um, but that wasn't who I, you know, it's not that the art was bad. It's just that it wasn't who I was. I had to let my guard down, you know? Um, but once you do that, uh, art starts to make a whole lot of sense. Like that's what keeps you coming back in your studio is the fact that now you've you've latched onto something so meaningful to you that it matters. It's going to really matter to you going forward. Every brushstroke, every shape you just decide to leave or take away, um, it's for a cause now. It's like for a cause, you know, like who am I inside and how do I best express fragility versus strength and you're gonna home in on it you're gonna find your best way to do that and it's gonna get better and better and better and better and that's actually pretty scary it is scary mm. yeah, it's, a, it's scary but at the same time I'm, I'm thinking a lot about it because uh, it's um, uh, if I see a rock it can be as hard as it wants but if the water is allowed into mm -hmm. the cracks yes you can you have those thin, thin roots, yes, hair like roots yes. that is just breaking it, yeah, in time. That's a yeah. beautiful, so, so it's, um, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's so, so many ways. To, well, I love the idea of a rock, to see. yeah, a rock is amazing because I mean, it, it itself is you know almost impenetrable, but yet we know that wind and water can etch its way into yeah. the nooks and crannies. and water seems so like there's nothing to it and wind there's nothing to it but it it's a powerful force so I think you're really onto something I'm so glad you did this today I'm really excited for you Marie 